This is Malta, baby. <laughs> After two crazy travel days, we were finally on our way to Malta. Cleared all of our COVID checks and they let us on. As the plane arrived in Malta, we could see the island was unique. Islands are often very green with trees, but this island was light brown and rocky. We're here! Once you arrive in Malta, you have to pass through a health checkpoint. This is what it looked like. We're here in Malta! We took a cab to the resort. In Malta, cars drive on the left side of the road. This is because Malta used to be a British colony. It gained its independence after World War II. The taxi driver was very informative about the country. He told us Malta has two official languages, Maltese and English. It was pretty easy to get around the island because everyone knew English. The resort was beautiful and calm, and it was exactly what we needed. the resort and we loved what we found. The resort had two pools, but there was something even cooler than that. It had little swimming inlets with coral reef that were perfect for learning how to snorkel. They were only a few feet deep and blocked up from the rest of the ocean, so you didn't have to worry about waves or sharks. The only problem was the area was closed for the season. The snorkeling area is only open during the summer months. The water was crystal clear though. You could see the coral from the surface. After our walk, we had some appetizers for dinner. And we went for a dip in the pool. Two, Two one. <laughs> Girls, the pool closed half an hour ago. Hence why there's no towels out. So I guess it's time to get out now. Oh my gosh, can't wait for tomorrow. See you in the morning. Bye. How was it? Was it too bad? The next morning we are back at the pharmacy to do more COVID testing. We just took another COVID test to get into Sicily. Now we're having a little snack while we wait for our COVID results. An acai bowl. It's not that I don't know. We're negative. After the COVID testing, we went for a walk along the coastline of Malta. For an island, Malta has a very unique landscape. The island gets its unique golden color from the Global Jarina limestone. The limestone was also used to make many of the buildings here. As you drive through the cities, you notice that the buildings are the same color as the terrain. We're gonna go check out those pillboxes left from World War II. A pillbox is a concrete blockhouse used as a military guardhouse during World War II. The government put about 200 of them on this island during World War II to protect it from Italian invasion. The pillboxes were built to protect the military and the small holes were for firing weapons. Most of the pillboxes on this island have been destroyed. There are only a few left on the north side of the island. Now it's time to go in the pool. I can find, put it all on the line, I'm in love with your design. While we were at the pool, we made a new friend. Yes, my name is Zara Lalad from Wales. That's so cool. We had lots of fun playing Marco Polo and just relaxing in the sun. Good morning, today we woke up to a beautiful sunrise and prepared to head to the airport. Good morning, today we're leaving Malta and heading to Sicily. We're all wearing sandals because we have to do the laundry and we have no more socks left. 
We took a taxi to the airport, passed through security, and boarded the plane. But still you should have heard.